Hi, my name is Mickey Pardo and I'm an elephant biologist. I have a PhD in animal behavior from Cornell University and I've been studying elephants on and off for about 13 years, as well as studying a number of other species. One of the coolest things that I've discovered about elephants in my own work is that they have names for each other, or at least something similar to a name. My colleagues and I found that calls addressed to different individuals were acoustically distinct, and when we played these calls back to the elephants, they responded more strongly to calls that were intended for them, compared to calls from the same caller that were intended for someone else. Another thing I've discovered is that elephants from different populations have different accents, so to speak. So for example, I compared rumble vocalizations that I recorded in northern Kenya to rumbles that my colleague Joyce Poole recorded in southern Kenya, and I found that elephants in the northern population tended to make higher pitched rumbles. Something that's always fascinated me about elephants is their ecological relationships with other species. Elephants can be kind of aggressive to a lot of other animals, but at least in the population that I study, they seem to be exceptionally tolerant of baboons. And I'm not sure why this is, but I think that it's because the baboons and the elephants have a mutually beneficial relationship. So the elephants benefit from the baboons because the baboons often drop fruits on the ground that the elephants then eat. And the baboons in turn benefit from the elephants by picking undigested plant matter out of the elephant's dung. If I can impart to people one thing that I've learned from my years of experience studying animal behavior, it's that we often underestimate the cognitive abilities and emotional capacity of other animals. And I'm not just talking about charismatic animals like elephants, but also animals that we frequently and wrongly dismiss as unintelligent, like chickens and fish. And I would love it if people could unlearn these species biases and completely rethink how we treat other animals.